we're going to make it from here into South Lake Tahoe and uh, yeah, rest and relax for a day. Ooh. After 900 miles, Becky's high clock shoes have been replaced. We're millionaires, Becky. <laughs> so, a couple nice, really quick, easy hitches got us back up to Carson's Pass behind me somewhere. <laughs> uh, and yeah, what now? Five days to Sierra City. So, we um, join up at the Tahoe Rim Trail for, I don't know, what is it, like 40, 50 miles? And ask you. Oh, video doesn't really catch it, but a bear just walked by. We got a photo. He is behind the rock. There he is. Lake Tahoe. Storm rolling in the next few hours. I'm just trying to walk as far as possible. Pretty mossy trees. Lock number 742. It's fine, just ski it. Ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! What did I tell you? The last glimpse back towards Victor. Oh no! We've hit a slight obstacle. <laughs> morning on trail with the sounds of the i-80 yeah slightly reminded of tierra raw <laughs> you get the front door to the peter grove hut yeah it's solar lighting this is the peter grove hut it's a view we're going to be getting so used to
few miles out from Sierra City currently, which uh, we managed to do like 16 and a bit miles before noon today to get there for our resupply. So yeah, it's been good. Uh, currently devouring a pound burger, chili cheese fries. Good, right? Is pine cone. Oh no, we broke it. We've seen so far. Ever. Just putting it in the middle of the trail for next month. Time for lunch. Stunning reroute from the Sierra Buttes there in the background. Get the award for the tightest tent pitch we've had on trail. Beautiful. But the uh, trail does remind us of New Zealand a little bit. California, where you gotta climb what? How many feet? Three thousand. Something like that downhill, and then back up the other side. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Look out, rock! Look out, rock. Um, I think Becky and I always joked that half the reason to go lightweight or ultralight so you can carry extra unnecessary crap. And uh, when we were in New Zealand doing the TRI trail, uh, we reached the 2,000 kilometer mark. And so to celebrate that, we packed out a couple Coca-Colas, uh, which ended up offending some real true ultralighters out there that could not believe that we were carrying Coke. So here's to you guys, here's to another 2,000 kilometers. Woo! Cheers. get my arm in the shot, but oh well. We're in Belden Town and just waiting for the lights to turn green. A few locals out for the weekend uh, that were rafting on the nearby river and they more or less just pulled up and said, hey, you guys are pizza tea hikers. Come up, we'll take you for a spin. So uh, me and another guy, Einstein, uh, yeah, had like this 10 minute raft down this relatively surging fish river. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> up staying at the Caribou Crossroads RV park uh, which compared to the alternate which is Belden uh, which was a bit of a hippie fest uh, <laughs> uh, yeah man it was it was fantastic I mean those guys had some seriously solid like restaurant food their shakes were probably some of the best we've had on the trail here I am talking about food <laughs> oh, but I had to see we follow this valley out for like 12 miles and gain like, what, four and a half thousand foot? Yeah. North California in a nutshell. Yep. Woo! Halfway! Halfway! <laughs> Every step we're taking now brings us closer to one litre wood tank! 
So, made it into Chester, and we're having our jumbo milkshakes. Mm. Eating, not drinking. Yeah. <laughs>